Welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors channel. My name is Chris bringing it to you here from a uh, lovely little Westlake Village, California. It is Wednesday. It is hump day. It is the middle of the day and it is CP line day. Yes, they're lying again. Inflation came out hotter than expected or cooler than expected. Yeah. So inflation went down, even though oil prices went up last month. Why? Because inflation is a backwards looking indicator. Essentially, uh, inflation rate year over year for July went down 3.2%. Uh, consensus with 3.3, uh, 4.8 on core inflation. We got 4.7. The only thing bullish for the dollar today was jobless claims, which were lower than expected. Other than that, tomorrow looks like the GBP's got some things coming in, but uh, Friday is going to be PPI. Yeah, so nothing for the United States tomorrow, but Friday is the producer price index. What a pain. Anyways, I'm uh, just looking at some trades. I'm going to get into some Bitcoin action right now as NASDAQ having a bit of a bleed down on the day and uh, a bit of volatility surrounding that CPI print, which should be all around um, points for the bears, points for the bears all day long. And I'm about to get nailed on a trade here, which I'm not too happy about, but uh, let's talk about Bitcoin price action and what is going to give us the general bias for the day well you see those wicks coming in here double top retest and continuation now on the other side on the other side uh we're looking for kind of the same thing one two three drives and uh we get a failure and now a bounce to the upside where's the main liquidity levels i got a new tool here to now um, called the high block capital liquidity levels. I will just show it to you briefly here. And uh, what we're going to look at is where the ma major liquidation levels are for Mr. Bitcoin. And that is all the leverage positions on the board, looking at the exchange Binance, because that's where the most trading is done. And I'm just going to zoom in here trying to take a little bit of a look here to see what I can see. So liquidation level coming in at 29,558. Why does it do that to you? It times out, it times out 29,558 on Bitcoin. Top side of the range, 29,558. Probably uh, we've got 34 million in liquidations there and 21 million to the downside. So what is it easier for the market makers to do? Push it to the upside or to the downside because they want to take that money. They want to liquidate people. 83 million there, 83 million here, right at 29.5, right in time for the bull trap. Um, that would be my guess. And then the next major level down, uh, 100 million at 29.1. I think 29.3 is actually the next level down. And with that kind of uh, audacious or uh, suspicious CPI report, I will leave you with this, um, the four hour ranges on Bitcoin as we've been working off the four hour ranges for some time. I don't know uh, what the measure move off of that little uh, little pipe dream was, but um, so far, what am I seeing? We are not able to close above or below the range highs. And so what's most likely to happen here? Come back to the bottom side of the range at 29,780. Now, as long as we are holding the sandpaper range, which is about 30,000 to the upside, 28.8 to the downside, then I'd expect more of the same, more of the same, the same. So uh, the name, the name of the game here is uh, 28.8 to the downside and going to be 30,000, call it 30,100 to the upside. Above or below there, very likely going to get the next big move. The daily time frame will be flipping back down below 29,052 today. So 
bit of a bearish look there. It looks like the bounce has played out and any kind of a daily closure back below this pivot, you know, giving us that bias, uh, 28.5 and 28,000 and uh, 27.3. Just looking back at the liquidity levels here, you're gonna see a major liquidity level there. Oh, that's XRP. Let's see, 15 million at 29.2, 29.3. If we're gonna go for it, it's probably gonna go for that 29,150 number. And then judge it from there uh, to the upside. If we start closing it back above 29.8, I'd look for a run back to the top side of the range, somewhere uh, around 31,000 bucks. Um, or was that, uh, yeah, 30,100, 30,100. All right, that's it out of me today, guys. Sorry I missed you yesterday. I was super busy trading, super, super busy. Lots of volatility, lots of action in these charts. So I hope you guys have a blessed and highly favored day and I'll be back tomorrow. Take care.